the fundamentals of JavaScript down, you can increase your programming power by being able to use libraries that are pre-written. The libraries have a lot of different functionality. They can allow you to include cool things like animations quite simply. And one of my favorite things, and where we're going to start, is that they make it much easier to use DOM scripting to identify parts of your web page. You'll begin by going out to jQuery. And the jQuery site, just jQuery.com, has a download jQuery button. You can download both the development and the production version. And this is a full version that's uncompressed. This is the compressed version. And then you will save them into the root level of your website where you're doing your development. To add the code to your website, in Dreamweaver it's really easy, you can just drag it in and it'll drop in the script, but we're just pulling it in with an outside script file just like we did for ours. Since it's at the root level, it puts in the dot dot slash sign, and we're just adding this file, which is a huge file full of JavaScript code. Let's take a look at it real quick. It's huge, but it's got just a bunch of JavaScript code pre-programmed in there. That's the compressed version, not very readable. And then we have the regular production one. And this makes it a lot easier to read, see and figure out what it's doing. Notice it has regular expressions built in here. It's a very large library full of functions that you can call and use. So all JavaScript is is an external file full of pre-written JavaScript code, just like we've been writing external files. And it's, it's, it's extensible, which means that you can write your own changes or additions to it. Now, you don't have to necessarily do this. You can also go externally. And I, you'll notice that this week I'm referencing the W3 schools because it's got a great overview in here. And if you're playing along with my class, this week we're just going to go through the home, intro, install, syntax, and selectors. You can read events if you want to. One of the things that I like here in the install is it shows you that you can download the production or development version of jQuery, but you also have the alternative of going to a hosted jQuery site from Google or from Microsoft. And you can do that simply by copying in this code and pasting it into your header. The main advantage of that is that most people because a large number of the major websites use jQuery, many people have already accessed it, downloaded it, and have it cached. By using that, you always have the current version, and it makes it slightly faster, potentially, for your user to use the page because they may have already downloaded it. So once we have access to it, we're going to start working with it. So I have my custom script here. And this is where I really find the power here. It allows me to take a lot of control over the DOM programming. It makes it very easy to select elements of my page. And it's using this in a CSS format. We're, this is our object. We're using the document.ready function. And this is basically our onload function from JavaScript. So that as soon as the document loads, it's going to call this custom code. Now this is going to call the object the li format, which is our CSS for any list element in my object or in my program here. It's going to affect all of the list elements. And I have made them bold. Let's see what happens when I comment that out. And you can see it is actually taking control of the CSS right there. And so that is just using my selectors very powerfully to change all of the list items to be bold. Again, that's using the DOM scripting, so we're choosing the objects from our document object model and directly affecting them using CSS. We're using the font weight from CSS and we're setting the bold attribute. You put the different sections in quotes and separate them by commas. Now this is my favorite. You can do odd, even, various um, filters. And so I'm doing a table row 
only the odd table rows with a CSS and changing the background color. And that makes my rows here, even in odd rows, colored nicely. I used this also on my index page. If you've been going to my site, and you'll notice here I have large table, nothing programmed in it because I pulled out all my CSS that had been styling every other one. I'd been going in and putting in a class each week if it needed it to um, make these visually easier to read. But when I go to live design view, you'll notice by using the odd, it's automatically putting in every other row with coloring. I think that makes my life a lot easier. It was very simple to code and use, and it saves me a lot of time from formatting that with the CSS. So as you can see, using an external library like jQuery can give you a lot of additional functionality by writing very minimal amounts of code. And the fact that it's based on CSS syntax will make it very easy for you to learn to use.